Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Aided by cell phones doubling as digital recording devices, political activists and campaign operatives are on a bipartisan race to produce gotcha moments. Once made public, these recordings often go viral and can effectively derail opponents. For example, a liberal activist recently admitted to placing a bug in Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's office and recording a conversation between the Republican and his campaign staff. In 2010, conservative activist James O'Keefe was caught tampering with the telephones at Democratic Senator Mary Landrieu's Louisiana office. He pleaded guilty to entering the property under false pretenses. O'Keefe had previously gained notoriety for his hidden camera sting operations against the Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now, better known as ACORN. Mitt Romney's infamous claim that 47% of Americans are too dependent on government was secretly recorded by a bartender at a private event in 2012 and may have permanently set back Romney's bid to unseat President Barack Obama. Each recording made headlines when it was leaked to the media. Secret recordings, though, are an ethical gray area for journalists. The Society of Professional Journalists' Code of Ethics advises reporters to avoid undercover or other surreptitious methods of gathering information, except when traditional open methods will not yield information vital to the public. Nevertheless, the traditional media has largely played along, reporting on these stories and the controversies they generate despite the tactics employed. What do you think? Is it ethical to make secret recordings of a political opponent? If public officials think they're speaking off the record, do they have a right to privacy? Should the media run stories generated by hidden cameras and bugs? Is the public value of these recordings too important to ignore? Does the upsurge in secret recording for political purposes pose a larger threat for the democratic system? I'm Gusta Johnson for the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.